The Philippine Coast Guard PCG, is aiming to acquire seven more Airbus helicopters to enhance the force's maritime capabilities. In an interview, PCG Commandant Admiral George Beer Sabia said that aside from vessels, the PCG force needs aircraft, particularly helicopters for search and rescue SAR, operations, especially during the typhoon season, and to answer distress calls from vessels plying the country's vast ocean. We prefer Airbus because it is the top of the line. It has twin engines, powerful and has a long range, so it can cover a SAR area if you want to use it. We are hoping that this will be very effective. We have used the first delivered chopper in SAR operations, and we can say that it is very effective," Ursabia said. Ursabia pertains to the Airbus H145 light twin engine helicopter, bought in Germany, with tail number CGH1452 commissioned into the PCG service last 18 June 2020. It has been deployed in various maritime search and rescue and marine environmental protection initiatives in the past months. Also, it is one of the most utilized PCG assets in transporting personal protective equipment PPE, sets, medical supplies and medicines to far-flung communities amid the COVID-19 pandemic. The latest addition to the PCG choppers is the newly commissioned Airbus CGH-1451, better equipped than the first. It has infrared camera, weather radar and flotation device, and can be landed in seawater when its engine gives up. Ursabia said currently, the PCG has only four choppers, two of them are already old. We are pursuing procurement of seven more, hopefully this time, so that we can deploy more helicopters nationwide. But it is still in the pipeline and still with the National Economic Development Authority NIDA. We are hoping and praying that the procurement will be approved accordingly Ursabia told Daily Tribune. The acquired Airbus helicopter costs P685 million, the PCG said. Aside from helicopters, Ursabia said the PCG is also preparing for the two units of 94-meter multi-roll-meter multi-roll response vessels from Japan, slated to arrive in 2022. Recently, the PCG successfully procured four Defiant Fast Patrol boats from the United States, 40 units of 12-meter fast patrol boats, 20 units of fast patrol craft with speed of up to 50 knots, 8 units of .50 caliber remote-controlled weapon system, and 13,622 maritime law enforcement firearms from Israel. We also have other significant infrastructure projects in the pipeline, such as the establishment of the PCGK9 Institute and Development Center in Clark, Pampanga, in partnership with the Philippine Ports Authority, the construction of the PCG and K9 hospitals in Taguig, the construction of the National Maritime Command Center, and integrated coastal central command and control systems, and the setting up of 11 coastal radar systems in Mindanao and several PCG bases across the country. We have also signified our intention to transfer the headquarters of the PCG to Subic Bay, 